Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76. First impression on the Fallout First member membership, whatever call it as you want to call it. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so I'm already on my private server and I already managed to invite uh, Terminator, one of the Z Clan members. Uh, so how to invite and everybody uh, to your server I'm gonna put it a little bit later on in this video because we had a five minute of conversation going everything so have in mind that this is the first impression so there are still a couple of things I'm trying to figure out like for example I still don't understand how to put that stupid camp but anyway uh, my feedback and everything I'll provide during the video so once you've entered uh, you will need to navigate to your atomic shop and you will see your outfit so that's another what is given to you uh, upon becoming of the member to what I understand as soon as you claim the outfit right so here's the outfit uh, you will claim it and theoretically you should have it at all times since you have acquired it I'm not sure if it's gonna work for the, the scrap box as well so theoretically if you purchase for one month and then cancel the membership uh, the outfit you should have it this I don't know <laughs> and if it's gonna be functional so I mean it's a weird way I thought I thought it's gonna be like inside a camp or something uh, but anyway about the scrap box uh, personally I like from all videos and everything I find it pay to win uh, but I'm very neutral about this, to be honest, uh, and I'm neutral because I predicted this. I've uh, spoken of this on the live stream when we had our repair kits coming the very first time, and I told Z Clan on and on the stream at that time that I will not be surprised if at any time soon we'll get some sort of memberships as ESO Plus membership. I don't know who played that game, but when I was talking about, I said that we're gonna have uh, the memberships month paid on monthly basis by the way before this got released we spoke in our discord how much is it gonna cost I predicted the price as well <laughs> and it's gonna be monthly and uh, yeah so the only thing what I mispredicted is that the scrap box I didn't know it's gonna be unlimited so <laughs> I thought you know for like members you will have X amount of extra stash or something like that uh, so as I said, my general feedback on all this is neutral. I'm very neutral, I'm, I'm ready to pay for this, I already paid for this, and I'm enjoying the game, and I don't see why not. That's pretty simple, to be honest. If, if you enjoy something, you buy it. This is my entertainment, so you know, for those who are new, and z Clan already knows that YouTube for me is a hobby, so... And I, this is sort of an investment into my entertainment and hobby, and I find nothing wrong with that, to be honest. So, although I am angry about a point that, uh, for me, the membership costed $134 USD, American dollars, so it's not that. So I paid 119 euros, and convert, in, to convert that into USD, it's going to be 134 not a hundred dollars <laughs> but anyway I mean I'm still happy with the purchase I'm happy that we're gonna have our own Z server so I'm in general I'm really happy so let's go ahead and claim these I, I hope I haven't missed anything because right now is mid midnight that I'm recording this so I might miss out on something but as I said uh, this is not something I would consider like super negative I saw this coming, it came, so I'm kind of I'm kind of okay with it. I'm not gonna create, uh, you know, negative hype, the hate train, whatever, because we were laughing. Uh, the server went down, and we were in Discord, and we just uh, YouTube follow 76 last hour, and you can see all the big YouTubers screaming, "All oh, pay to win!" Oh, no, no, no. You can see small YouTubers, uh, same thing. Uh, some YouTubers like 2,000 subscribers doesn't have uh, more than 20 views on any of his videos he's doing sub for sub 100% and he's not even playing the game and he's title names okay I'm done with Fallout 76 this pay to win I quit and if you and I watched all his videos 
like through the entire channel there was not a single Fallout 76 video on it so I would if you're new and you're like trying to get some information on whether this is something you want to get or not uh, just think it for yourself would this be something you would like to invest into put it like think it of this way don't go into different YouTube channels because and plus even my channel if you don't believe that I don't do a lot of Fallout 76 videos and if you don't believe I don't play this game just look through my channel you'll see streams videos everything <laughs> so be careful when you watch videos and just double make sure that that person is actually playing this game alright so let's continue so Fallout first emote so it's an emote okay let's grab it scrap box and follow first icon I hope I didn't talk much because I sometimes get carried away I don't script my videos because I find this approach more sort of direct approach <laughs> so that is follow icons right so emotes let's find that emote oh there we go it's already uh, that's the dance Okay, cool. Icon. So I believe I should have my icon as well. I'm gonna change that and um, obviously so you can see it as well. There you go. First. Bam. Oh, you can have Ranger uniform as well. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I like the first one. <laughs> All right. So let's start off with the Ranger armor outfit. So in order to craft outfits, whatever outfits you acquire from the atomic shop, you just need to, need to navigate to your uh, uh, workbench, armor workbench, as soon as you have acquired it, and build it. So it should be somewhere here. Oh, first, even you can see the badge actually changed its first, not the atomic. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so with the ranger and then the head aware as well should be ranger somewhere right here so here's the mask luckily for me I still have components for that bam bam oh yeah let's go to my display room there's more light this is where I display all the atomic items before you buy and everything else like that so you can decide whether this is something that you want to get or not oh wow that is actually really nice. And the backpack. The pit boy although sucks. I have a better skin uh, paint, I'll color it later. But hell yeah. <laughs> What's up? This is good. I like it. It's gonna be one of my favorite uh, outfits now. Let's see if I can change. Uh, something for the head, but later. Also, ah, prevents damage and disease from airborne hazards, but it does not give a minus. Hey, <laughs> usually these type of helmets give a minus to perception, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay. All right, now we've got the stash box. Let's figure out where the hell that stupid stash box is so let's start from misc structures oh wait stash in the stash section there you go stash all right so with the stash just so you know with the stash lone wolf except team invite <laughs> wait lone wolf also joined the server uh, he he can join the server. Oh, okay. So if he uh, sends me a, f a team invite and I'm on my private server, by default he's supposed to be he's supposed to get on my server. Because what happened with Terminator is that uh, he accepted. Yeah, there you go. There you go. What's up? <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's get back to the stash box. So according to notes uh, over here, you can store only your scrap, right? And whatever you put in here uh, from your private server, and if you navigate to the adventure mode, uh, all of your items should be 
uh, there as well at the adventure mode so I don't think that is something that I need to test but there is something that I really want to test and I just want to see how that is gonna work because the same thing is I was trying to make my character a bloody mule build because I wanted to carry a lot of stuff and have the ability to play because of the stash limits uh, now I believe that is solved in my case uh, and in case of other members as I said this is a very sensitive topic and I hope this video is not gonna get too much hate <laughs> alright so ma'am scrap all junk items and move to scrap box yes what the hell oh so it's only scrap The bulk didn't go there. <laughs> so you can't transfer bulk? Okay. Interesting. I'm fine. I'll scrap it then. <laughs> Scrap all the bulk. Low. Because the stash box is unlimited. So. Bam. Okay. Now I, I want to check this theory. Can I sell my uh, junk through the stash box? Just super curious. So junk. No junk. Okay. So if you want to sell junk. At your vending machines, you will need to have the junk in your stash. Okay, okay, that's that's fair enough. Uh, another question then: If I have all my junk inside my, okay, yeah, but it is they are accessible for the building, as you can see over here. What about making weapons? Oh, how about fixing my bloody expo wifey? Yeah, okay. Foop. Okay, cool. So, the stash... Uh, scrap box. Why do I call it stash box? Jesus, scrap box. So, that's how the scrap box works. And as I said, according to the patch notes, uh, it is transferable and you're, it is playable between both worlds. Now, survival 10 is something I did not figure out how it works. <laughs> By the way, uh, monthly atoms. I think I didn't get my monthly atoms. Oh no, I did. Yeah, I did get my monthly atoms. So you also get uh, monthly atoms. It's 1,650 atoms uh, per month that you use freely for the atomic shop. Okay. In addition, in addition to the bonus atoms each month, you will also gain access to exclusive sales in the atomic shop. Ooh. Okay, so exclusive sales in the atomic shop. Okay, that one, that part I missed. So it turns out, not only, I hope I'm mistaken, I hope, but not only will the atom shop stuff, but you can buy the exclusive ones that you can't even buy without having a membership. That's what I understand. I hope I'm wrong because that is stupid, to be honest. Atom shop should be available to everybody. Okay, what else? Exclusive cosmetic explorer, Palacia, Icon, Style, Ranger. Ah, okay, okay. I, I, I should have read it. More. Outfits, status, unique, icons, all exclusive available to. Okay, I, I, hope, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, now, survival tent. Survival tent is where you can put, like, an additional tent and uh, you're able to sort of have an, an additional travel fast traveling point the only problem is I didn't figure out how to put it I mean I tried pretty much everything apart from uh, placing the camp for 40 caps I really don't want to scrap my entire camp just to test this thing 
so I don't think that that is something crucial and uh, personally myself I'm not super hyped about that camp uh, I mean tent sorry not camp tent survival tent that has all the instruments etc so I'm not super hyped about it as I said and I still haven't figured out how to place it unfortunately so we had a theory that it might have didn't work because I was sort of in my camp no that's not the thing so as you can see unfortunately the tent I will not be able to show it to you because I have no idea how it works I checked all of my uh, inventory I have a very big inventory so I dub I tw checked it twice it took me about like 15 minutes <laughs> and that tent was not there so maybe there's some bug all right, so right now we're gonna be testing out how to invite friends to your private server. So your friend needs to be in the main menu. You're in the main menu, right, Terminator? Oh uh, yeah. All right, yeah. So it shows us if you're, uh, as if he's already on the server for me. Uh, but you can see that. Oh, you can see private as well. Haha. <laughs> Some people already started buying private as well servers. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so pretty much I just invite to the team. Okay, now I have another question. If I invite you to the team, try to join the private server. Okay. You should be able to. Yeah, I have to go. Hold on, I have to go to social. Okay, I have to go to social. So, a question to is... Social. And then I have to accept team invite and they'll send me to your... Oh no, I just joined the team, that's all. Oh, that's it. You joined. You just joined the team, and it switches you to the server. I guess. Let huh. me travel over to you. I'm gonna travel over. Uh, fast travel. Yeah, you're on the server. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I didn't. Wow. I didn't see no different. So I didn't see no. You didn't. You didn't flash me any or, or show me anywhere. I just accepted your friend. Uh, your friend. Uh, uh, ad or your team, man. You know the team. The team. Yeah, the team. Uh, uh the team. And then, uh, that's it. Like, nothing happened. Okay, cool. But we can have okay, only four people in the team. <laughs> no, seven what, people, what, seven what, people. what will happen if I kick you? <laughs> seven, 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 seven people, yeah. Try, try, see what happened. Uh, Alright, try to see what happened. Kick. Kick. Alright, so I pretty much invite people like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, I'm still here, though. Alright, cool. So the that's how you invite people to your private server. <laughs> I hope uh, this is the first impression, by the way, just so you know. All right. Uh, the other thing is for the atomic shop. Uh, oh no! You know what? You know you know what? See, what? try to I got try to log out, close off. See if it kicks me out of this. Uh, private yeah, it will. See. It will kick you out. Actually, it yeah. Out. Let's give it a try. Why not? All right. Let's and then we'll do it. And then happens. we'll do it another way. I will start the private server again, and you try to access uh, through the private server, something like that. Gotcha. All right, let me know if it kicks you out. All right, I don't see no different. I'm still in the world. In the world, you're mad here, like normal. And I don't know what the hell, man. Nothing. I don't feel no different. <laughs> I'm still, in the, I'm still like in the world here, man. I don't know if I'm in a private server now. Okay. Oh. Wow, okay, I guess we found a yeah. bug. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm still... I mean, you, you, don't, you don't have the membership, do you? No, not yet. Uh-huh. Not yet, though. Weird. But, uh, yeah, you see, you see me? Over here? Wow. Yo, uh, can't, yeah, your, your camp is back, and I'm still in the same spot. Oh, my camp is back? Camp is back, yeah. Your camp is back. I don't see where I am, but that's, I'm here. That's because I'm logging in to, in, uh, to the private server now. Oh, uh, ma maybe I if I exit the entire game, it should kick you out, most probably. No, once you log out, you know, go no. to the main menu. Uh, what I mean is, uh, if I leave the game like fully, here, let let me fully exit the, the entire game. Okay, I uh, try that. Let's see what happens. You still on the server? Yes, I'm still here like nothing. Your camp is gone, everything else is gone, but uh, I'm still on the same spot. 
Okay. So, where is the server? I mean, I thought... Uh, <laughs> I thought it was supposed to kick you out, and in the patch notes, yeah, it's, well. it says, in the patch notes, as the follow first member, man, I'll just call it membership, whatever, you can access yes. to exclusive, blah, 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 only the owner of the private world is required to have the membership, as long as the owner is currently in the private world, they can invite uh, friends to join them. If the owner leaves, the world stay active as long as one other player in the world is a member as well. If no other members remain, all players in that private world will receive a notification that world will shut down soon. Ah, shut down soon. Got it? So we don't know. It doesn't happen immediate like, like this. So we don't know how long and how long the time will come to shut it down. Wait. Yeah. Okay. You should give me. You should give me a prompt. That's yeah. It should, it should, it should give a notification. Did you yeah, get it's a prompt? You know, like giving me. You know, okay. You know, taking the service shut down within. You know, whatever. He didn't give me anything at all. I'm still still here. <laughs> you can't look. Your camp is back. Camp is back. Yeah, because I know I'm, you're locked. I'm logging in back in. Yeah, I know you're logging back in, and I'm still in the same spot. You never kicked me out. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So. Well, Terminator. Thanks for the test run. <laughs> Man, Z Clan, yeah. we got the server, baby. <laughs> now I need to figure out how to put that stupid camp. I don't think you can put it in the same spot where you have your camp, though. You probably have to go to a different place, and you know, like where you're not claiming it, and you have to drop Maybe. it. Maybe I'll try. It. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. And as I said. It's almost one o'clock in the morning already for me soon, so I don't think the survival tent is a big difference here for this membership. Okay, so what else they've added on top that uh, they might be increasing building budget and so on and so forth for this uh, membership. Now, in reality, when I was predicting it, I thought there's gonna be some sort of an additional stash limit like they had with um, ESO. They had like so crafting bags and so on and so forth. Uh, my takeaway on this, as I said, is very neutral. It does help. Uh, there are pay to win elements. I, I'm gonna admit here because I never said scrap kits are pay to win. I never said repair kits are pay to win. I never said the robot thing is pay to win. By the way, for those who do not know that robot over there, I never said the fridge is pay to win because it's not. But in regards to the unlimited stash for the junk well that that is a pay to win uh, well not pay to win I would more call it pay to play <laughs> you know to me uh, as I said before I'll repeat myself again to me pay to win is when uh, someone is selling a gun that you cannot get for real money that is a pay to win that you can't get inside the game anymore or if Bethesda will start selling guns that have ridiculous effects that you can never earn during the game that is going to be pay to win and pay to win more in my opinion kind of it, it works with um, like PvP games like where you gotta take down other users right this is not a PvP well it is and it's not I mean all of these things will not have an effect on your battle royale. Survival mode is gone. So... It's that? Okay, fine. Uh, PvP and workshops. I'm pretty sure someone was going to come up with that thing. Private server problem solved. Uh, well... <sighs> yeah, you need some membership for that, right? Dang. But anyway. I've been playing since beta. I pretty much don't bother on defending my uh, workshops. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> if someone comes to get it, I'm like, fine, grab it. I don't care. Because my stash is always pretty much full. full. Well, I don't know. This is a very sensitive topic. A lot of different opinions. I do agree on the fact that it is a pay to win. I don't like the fact that... Uh, well, I'm gonna enjoy this game 
that's for sure i'll keep enjoying this game the thing is with me is that when fallout 76 was coming i said to myself that i'll play this game i'll be creating content through all the ups and all the downs so judge me bad if you want to don't care i know i have a really fun community that i love to return to at all all the time play with you know share I'm not the best YouTuber out there as well, like, I don't make the best guide videos, I also make mistakes, that's because YouTube is a hobby for me, I don't have a lot of time, I have a kid, etc. So, uh, maybe for players uh, that have limited of time, this is actually something good. Of course, the price bites, but, you know, everybody has this price mark. Uh, like, to me, uh, this purchase... Uh, means that I will not go to the cinema one time we usually go like two three times that means I'll go instead of two three I'll go one two times that's it simple as that uh, and I sort of like overpaid <laughs> 134 USD so, so yeah I have n I don't even know what else to add I I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of different opinions I'm gonna tell you from the start I'm neutral on this <laughs> so and I respect other people's opinions as well I hope you catch my point I'm, I'm gonna be enjoying the game and you can enjoy it with me or you can stop playing or like a lot of other people do well let's not get into that anyway Z Clan and everybody else I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helped you out I'm sorry that I was not able to show you the tent because I just did not figure out how to put that damn thing <laughs> so Z clan everybody else you know the drill don't forget to leave that like I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave your comments down below please try not to use a lot of profanity and uh, because those comments get triggered and they're not visible to other users so <clears throat> just don't use profanity because I can't react to those. Don't promote third-party websites that sell guns, caps, services, whatever for real money because you're going to get banned. And this is a sponsorship-free channel, meaning there will be no sponsors on this channel whatsoever. So, yeah. If you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm GamerZ Sol from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, before we end this video, if you don't mind, I'm like super curious. I posted a post on asking for feedback about this membership like a voting post and I want to read it out loud I'll tell you when did I posted it so I posted about two hours ago 118 people already uh, actually hold up let me try to share screen share one sec so you can see the results BAM so yeah hey Z Klein, I'm super curious how you feel about Fallout 76 first membership uh, two hours ago 22% happy out of 118 29% neutral I'm one of the 29% uh, 42% are angry and 8% quit playing and there's a lot of comments and by the way I already replied to most of those comments so appreciate the commenting and I love the uh, feedback that I received as well over there so as I said don't judge me hard this is my honest opinion I am very neutral I do find uh, I would pr really prefer instead of this uh, scrap box the ability to add more people to the private server I would prefer that more like instead of that stupid scrap box to have a, a f like a full server how many players can one server have on the adventure mode 50 60 I would prefer to have that on my server instead of the scrap box to be honest all right so Z-Clan stay everybody stay positive happy what's up <laughs> yeah I'll see you in the next video Thanks a lot. You have a good morning, day, night. Bye. <laughs>